This video is going to look at a production possibility frontier and relate it to the idea of consumer and capital goods. Consumer goods are ones which are used by households in the satisfaction of their, their wants and their needs and capital goods are used by businesses in the production of goods and services. We're going to look at the economy and it could be producing at either point X or point Y. At point X, consumers are going to be better off in the short term because they are, there are more goods and services for them to enjoy. If they were producing at point Y, the amount of goods available for consumers would fall from here to here. At point Y, if we move from point X to point Y, however, we would increase the amount of capital goods that are being consumed from here to here as we move down from X to point Y. Because capital goods are goods which are used in the production of other goods and services, if in the short term the economy was doing this, it will lead to greater gains in the long term because there will be more resources able to be used to produce more goods in the future. So if producing at point X might lead to an increase in production possibility frontier over time due to either increases in technology, more resources, for example, if there's greater population. But if the economy was operating at point Y, it would mean that in the long term there would be more resources being able to uh, be allocated to the production of goods and services, and that will lead to a production possibility frontier in the future, moving out further. And this would mean that in the future, by producing more capital goods now, the economy could experience greater levels of economic growth in the future.